Happy New Year, you party animals. I hope this video finds you all happy and healthy. Welcome to 2023. It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today, I want to get into a pair of kicks that I ended up seeing on GOAT. Once again, this is a dunk that I thought looked pretty interesting. It hadn't dropped in the U.S. yet, but it did drop in Asia. I put an offer up for 110 bucks. Somebody accepted it, and they're here. These are slated to drop later this week on the Nike app, I believe. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Cacao Wow Dunk Low Premiums. Alright, so nothing really noteworthy about this box. Same thing that we get for just about everything unless it's a collab or some sort of special release. The tag reads Nike Dunk Low Retro Premium. The colors are Cacao Wow Comet Blue. And I think on Nike, it also says Mars Stone. I really like being able to put up a reasonable offer that's close to, or even in this case, below retail price. Offered 110, it sat there for about a week, and then finally somebody accepted the offer. I always like getting a shoe early for just about retail price. These are going to be $120 whenever they drop January 4th. I believe that's Wednesday on the Nike app. And here they are, the Cacao Wow Dunk Low Premium. I don't know how well it comes through on camera, but this blue pops. It really, like it looks like it's glowing against these other colors. And I saw that in the description, Nike said that they put premium leather overlays, which would be that Cacao Wow, the brown leather overlays. That is a premium material. It's got a really nice texture and everything. I really like that. And it said that underneath is a premium suede, which will soften in time. Whenever I got these in hand, the first thing I noticed was it kind of reminded me of when you see shoes that are dyed with like blue jean dye or something like that, and it's not 100% even, like there's some lighter spots and some darker spots. I don't know if that comes through on camera, but you can definitely see it's not 100% consistent. And it looks like this is a pretty natural suede. It's just a short haired suede. But I think that however they dyed these, it kind of made them feel a little bit more stiff for this base material. But that being said, I bet what Nike claims is right. I do think that these will soften over time. And I actually really, really like the finish on these. I think it looks really cool. So I don't know if you can see how it's a little bit uneven for that base material. I think that's the Mars stone color. It's kind of like a rust. Like I said before, it really makes that blue just pop off of there. Overall, my first impression of these is that I really like the look of them. I think they called the last Dunk Low Premium a Marina Blue or something like that. And whenever I got those, I was a little bit bummed because the material on the base didn't really feel like a premium. And while this feels a little bit stiff, I bet you it does soften up as you wear them. And I like that these seem like the majority of them are just natural materials like suede and then a nice soft leather for the overlays the swoosh i don't know what that is that's not a natural material it almost has like a rubber type feel to it and it's got a neat texture on it but i like the look of it and then i like the nike branding jumping off of the back too as stated in the intro these did come from i think tokyo and so it's got this tag that I get a lot. Whenever I get shoes from Asia before they release in the US, they have this tag and it's got a bunch of verbiage that I can't read on it. But getting into the actual review for the outsole of the shoe, it looks like it's just this nice brown color, standard dunk low tread pattern, but it's in a brown color. That'll be nice because it won't show dirt as much as what a light outsole would and i just like that brown it really matches the overlays up on the upper almost perfectly and we have that classic tread pattern that we're used to getting on dunks pivot point in the front nike branding at the midfoot very close to a jordan one tread pattern 
and then as we come up from that outsole we can see that it meets a bright white midsole with bright white stitching I like that pop of white that's really the only white that we have on the shoe as we come up to our mug guard and really all the overlays aside from this kind of rubber feeling swoosh it's got this real nice tumbled brown leather it feels really soft and I love that color it's really close to like the color of a football but I really like the color I like the texture I think it looks great over top of that Mars stone suede and I'm really pleased with how these came out but you can see that brown leather on the mug guard going up the eye stays wrapping around this heel panel and then also where we have this Nike branding up there on the heel tab then on the toe box you can get a good look of this Mars stone suede material and I really hope it's coming through but some areas of that are a little bit lighter and some are a little bit darker I think you can see it but it's a really really short haired suede and it does feel a little bit stiff I think just because of however they decided to dye these but I do bet that they'll soften up and I bet they'll end up being a pretty comfortable shoe but you have that Mars stone suede on the toe box where we have all those perforations and then we have it for the side panels and then we also have it coming around the back of the heel where you see those rows of stitching the tongue feels like a standard dunk tongue but it matches that Mars stone color and then the tag at the top is also in that Mars stone color but it's got that nice blue nike branding just popping off of there the blue is so vibrant it really glows and that blue of course is also what we have for those swooshes i have no idea what that material is and then and again we have that blue on the heel i really like how they did this too the piping of the tongue is like a khaki or a tan color and it really just breaks up all this real deep color. I really like that accent. But we have that for the piping up on the tongue. And then we also have that for the sock liner. But I like that brighter color, just that lighter color up against all these really rich colors. I just think that's a neat twist. I think that lighter tan and then the white midsole really helps to kind of balance out these deep rich colors on the shoe they gave us some flat brown laces i think they would look good with tan or this blue maybe even just like white i don't know if i have any spares laying around but i think this is a shoe that would be fun to mess around with the laces just to see how other colors work the brown looks good but i think blue or tan or white i think that would also look good in these but like i mentioned the sock liner is this nice lighter tan color but then down on the insole, it looks like it's more stone, like that reddish rust brown color. And then we have some of that vibrant blue Nike branding down there. And overall, I think these things are dope. I think if you can score a pair of these for 120 bucks, I think that's a really, really nice pickup. Sometimes I see dunks and it's like, ah, eh, that looks the same as everything else. This feels like something out of the norm, and I like that the base is at suede instead of like a synthetic leather. Even though it feels a little bit stiff, I do think that it'll age well and that it'll soften up over time. And I just love the colors and the textures on these. I think it's a dope pair of kicks to start the new year. But let me know what you all think of these. Let me know if you'll be trying to grab a pair January 4th, and I appreciate you all watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.